Hi children and family of Wellspring. This is Pastor Sarah and I miss you all so very much. As we head into the week of Thanksgiving, I want to let you know how truly thankful I am for each and every one of you. I just wanted to share with you something that's really special with me. Every morning my husband likes to go for a walk and he comes back in and he says, do you want to see what I saw today? And I love to say yes, I'd love to see it. He takes pictures and they're amazing and I love the great outdoors and I love the beauty of God's creation. Here are some examples of what he's shown me recently. I just want to encourage us all to be thankful for the little moments, for the sunrises, for the sunsets, for our pets, for wild animals, for laughter and time together. Really focus this week on being thankful. Did you know that God made our hearts in a really special way? We can't be thankful and negative at the same time. So it's actually really cool. When you're thankful, you can't be complaining. So tell your moms and dads that this week, whenever you hear somebody complaining, try to remind them to be thankful for something. Remember that after Thanksgiving, we get into the season of Advent and I'm so excited for Advent. We're gonna have a lot of fun this year. Now stay tuned for a lesson from Isaiah with Miss Bree. Hi friends, Miss Bree here, and we are somebody el somewhere else this week for virtual Sunday school. We are actually in my house, which is so fun because I'm in my house, you're probably in your house, and I am working from home just to make sure that everybody is staying super safe and healthy right now. And we are gonna continue learning on about the prophets together. This is our last week of learning about the prophets. We learned about four so far, and we're gonna learn about our fifth prophet today. But first, I have a big decision to make. I am trying to decide which chair I, I should sit in. And I have this one, this bear chair, and I have this chair. Which chair do you think would be best for me to sit in? I know this chair might be the best for maybe some of you to sit in, but I think it might look a little bit small. It doesn't look super strong. It looks like maybe it'll fall over or maybe it could break when I sit in it. And this one, this one looks pretty good, I think. It looks very sturdy, it looks trustworthy, it looks like it could hold even like my dad, like I think my, my dad's super tall, I think he could even sit in this chair. So do you think that this is the better chair for me to sit in? I think so too. I think this one looks the strongest and like the best chair for us to sit in. This one looks pretty good too, but I think that this one would be better for one of you guys rather than for me. Okay, and we're gonna come back to the importance of our chair decision in just a little bit. But first, before we go into Isaiah, it is our last week in our unit, which means that it is memory verse day, and so we should all get prizes for, memory, for memorizing 1 Corinthians 16, 13. And I know that it might be really sad for some of you guys to not get prizes for your memory verse, so I would encourage you to email me if you would like to get a special prize for the memory verse and just say, hey, Miss Bree, I did my memory verse and I will be able to mail you something special. And remember, you can also email me prayer requests. So we are gonna be learning about Isaiah, but first let's do our memory verse all together one last time. Okay, so if you guys will stand up, if I stand up, I will not be in the video anymore, so I will stay sitting right here, but I will do it with you. So remember the first line goes, be on your guard, stand Firm in the faith, be courageous and be strong. 1 Corinthians 16, double dot 13. Good job. I know that you guys have been working so hard at memorizing that this month, and we're going to have a brand new memory verse starting next week. Okay, so Isaiah had a lot to teach us. We don't know a lot about who Isaiah was, but we do know that he had a lot to say. He, his book of the Bible has 66 chapters. That is a really long book. And so Isaiah had a lot of news to share. And the news that he was bringing the people of Israel that we're going to talk about today was not very good news. He was telling the people of Israel that God was not super happy because they were falling away from him by some of their choices. Just like how some of us, when we choose not to be kind, when we choose not to share, when we aren't thinking of others, when we aren't talking to God or praying to God or just not spending any time with him, it makes God kind of sad because he wants us to do good things. He wants us to spend time with him because he knows that 
through him, we will be the happiest, we will have the most joy, and that we will have also the most help through all of the hard things that we sometimes have to go through. And so Isaiah was telling them that they needed to lean in towards God and that they needed to turn towards him and be faithful. What does it mean to be faithful? To be faithful means to keep something, like kind of like when you keep a promise. Have you guys ever made a promise and kept it? Like it's like, oh, I promise I'm going to clean up my room. And then you go and you do that. That means that you were faithful to your promise and that you didn't let somebody down. God never lets us down, does he? He is always with us and he is perfect. And so he is all trustworthy all the time. Because what do we know about God's promises? We know that God always keeps his promises no matter what. And do we always keep our promises no matter what? Sometimes. Have you guys ever broken a promise before? I know I have, and I feel pretty bad about it sometimes, but whenever I do break a promise, but we always try to. We try to keep promises, and we try to be as faithful as we can. Just like if you or I promised God that we would pray more or spend more time with Him by reading our Bible, or even when we're playing outside, if we acknowledge Him and just say, wow, God, thank you so much for making the beautiful weather today. Thank you so much for just making the beautiful trees and the mountains around us and just for these blue skies that we have today. That is spending time with him and that and that is being faithful if we promise God that we are going to do those things and spend time with him in that way. And so God says that because he is so faithful to us that we can also be faithful to others. Just like how when we were choosing which chair to sit in today, we said that this was the best chair. This is the strongest chair. This is the sturdiest. This is the most trustworthy because it won't, it probably won't break when I sit in it. And God is kind of like this chair. He is stronger than us. He is even more trustworthy than anybody on earth could ever be. Even more than the best person that you can think of. God is more trustworthy and even better because he is so good, he is so strong, and he is the most faithful because he will never let us down. He will never allow us to get lost, and he will always bring us back to him, and he will always keep every promise he makes to us. And so we can try to be faithful like God. We can try to be as strong and as trustworthy as God, but sometimes we might fall a bit short, right? Sometimes we still break a promise, or sometimes we don't always do exactly what we say we're gonna do. But God says that that's okay. He just wants us to try our hardest to be faithful like Him. And that is so good because God lets us keep trying and trying and trying. And so how, how can you guys think of God being faithful in your life? Sometimes it can be hard to remember how God is faithful to us. But one way of knowing how God is faithful to us is looking at all of the good things that He does for us. God, We can say God is so faithful because... I get to be with my family today or with my friends today or God is so faithful because I have food to eat today and some people in the world maybe don't have that at this moment or God is so faithful because he has a plan for all of us even though this year has been so crazy maybe you've been in and out of school or things have changed so much God is so faithful because he still has a plan and we might not know what that is and we don't always get to know what is coming in f ahead of us, but God is faithful and so we know that he will bring all things towards him and it will all be so good. And so when we don't, when it can be hard for us to memorize, to know what is faithful and how God, God is being faithful to us, we can focus on what is good. Okay. So let's do one more activity about how we can remember God is so faithful to us. Okay, so I have a fun little activity for us. So sometimes it is hard to remember how God is being faithful to us, right? Sometimes when things aren't going that great, we have to really focus on the good. And it is almost Thanksgiving, right? So that is a time where we talk about everything that we are thankful for. We talk about all of the good things in our life and all of the goodness that God has brought us. And whenever we think about something good in our life, it is all because of God working in our life and blessing us so, so much. But sometimes that can be hard to focus on the good, right? So 
I want you guys, I have a ping pong ball underneath this cup. I do not have a ping pong ball under these cups. And I am gonna mix them around and I want you to focus super hard on which cup has the ping pong ball underneath it. Kind of like how sometimes we have to focus really hard on the goodness in our life and the good things that God is doing. We have, we're gonna focus really hard on this. And then I wanna see if you guys can figure out which one is under, okay? Okay, which one do you guys think it's under? Do you think it's under number one, number two, or number three? Which one? Okay, let's see. Is it under number one? Oh, it is! It is under number one, it is not under number two, and it's not under number three. And so sometimes within all everything that we're going through, sometimes when things don't go the way that we want them to, sometimes when we might get upset at a sibling or at our parents or at friends, it's hard to focus on the good that God is doing, which means that we have to really try sometimes, which is okay. And so do you guys wanna do it again? Let's focus on our ping pong ball really, really hard. We're gonna have to really focus, okay? Okay, which one do you guys think it's under? Do you guys think it's under number one, under number two, or under number three? Okay, let's see. Is it under number one? <gasps> nope, it's not under number one. Is it under number two? Nope, it's not under number two. That means it must be under cup number three. Good job, okay. So kind of like this activity, we had to focus really hard. We had to think a lot and we had to focus all of our effort on knowing which cup had the ping pong ball underneath it. And that's kind of like when we had to focus on the good things that God is doing within our lives. So I want you guys to list some ways that God is being so good and so faithful in your life. You can either list it by writing it out on a piece of paper, drawing pictures of some things that are so good that God is being faithful to in your life, or you can also talk about it with a friend or a sibling or your parents. And then I also want you to talk about how or write down or draw how you can be faithful to others this week and even the rest of this year. That could be by keeping promises or saying that you will do something like helping around your house with chores or even by spending more time with God. How can you be faithful to others and also faithful to God? Okay, and then I will see you guys again next week. We are gonna be starting out Advent, which is so exciting, and what it means to be in the season of Advent, and I am so excited for all the activities that I have planned for you all. And before we go, I am gonna pray for you guys, and remember, you guys can email me prayer requests if you have any, and I would love to pray for you in this video next time. Okay. So if you will bow your heads with me and fold your hands and we will just talk to God together. God, I thank you so much for this day. I thank you for all of these friends that are watching. And I just pray that you would be with us this week and that you would just help us to be faithful to others, that you would help us to be faithful to you. And God, I just thank you that you are so faithful to us, that you will always be there, that you will never let us down. And that even when we fall short and when we aren't as faithful to others as we can be, that we can look to you to teach us and to guide us on what it looks like to be faithful because you are the most faithful and the best. Thank you so much for loving us so much. Thank you for all of the good things that you give in our life. We are so grateful just to have you as our Heavenly Father and that you love us so much each and every day. In your name, amen. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye, friends.